What's going on guys, Billy Rains, and in today's video we're going to be talking about automated trucks are taking over the world. Let's talk about it. So right now I'm going to put a little clip into the video right after this. Before I get into it, make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe and hit that little bell so you get notifications every time we publish a video also the question of the day what do you think about automated trucks and when do you think they'll be taking over the world let's get into our video the little clip that i made Sorry, it's windy out here, guys. Sorry if the audio is fucking garbage, but look at this thing. What in the autonomous driving is this motherfucker? All these things are cameras, right? So I imagine you probably see that little clip and look at that monstrous thing, and you're like, you're probably scared. You're probably a little worried about autonomous trucks taking over the roads. And I get it. I'm scared, too. Trucking's how I make my living. Trucking time, make my money. This is, the, this is the best job I've ever had. So I'm worried too. This video is not going to be trying to scare the death out of anybody. It's not going to be trying to come an autonomous truck in a different kind of way. Basically, all I'm doing is I've seen this truck out on the road and I'm just looking more into this Waymo company. So what is Waymo? So Waymo is a American-owned self-driving technology company owned by Alphabet, who's the same company that owns Google. And basically, they've already got like a self-driving taxi based out of Phoenix, Arizona. And they have all of Chandler, Arizona already mapped out. The part that affects us, which is the trucking part of it, is called Waymo Via. That's like their, that's like their delivery. That's the one that's focused on delivering stuff like delivery vans delivery trucks long haul short haul all that stuff and waymo has been around since 2016 but google's been dabbling in the industry of self-driving technology all the way back to 2009 so anyway like i said the trucking portion of waymo is called waymo via and that was actually launched in march of 2020 the interesting thing to note is that Via and Google and Alphabet, who's the parent company, they have no interest in actually getting into the trucking industry, like making the trucks. They're more interested in the technology. So they're out here with their cameras, gathering data, working on the technology of autonomous driving so that they can get with Freightliner, get with Volvo, get with Peterbilt and make these autonomous trucks. They're not actually interested in getting into the actual manufacturing, just the technology. Another thing is in August of 2020, Waymo actually uh, actually started using a hub in Dallas, which is interesting because Waymo mostly operates in the South and Southwest, which are good weather areas. This is so that they can gather their data without necessarily having the problems like Wyoming with the wind or farther north with the snow or the mountains or anything like that. It's mostly California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas are the main places that they're operating. So far, Waymo has raised $5.75 billion in funding. So anyway, guys, let's take a little break from all these numbers and notes and stories and stuff. Sorry if the camera shakes, they're unloading me right now. Anyway, so I'm gonna add a little story in here, right? So if you've been following the video for any amount of time, you know about my buddy, Jake Terry. He is a character in just about every video I do. Jake Terry has been a trucker since 2000. Well, way back in the day, he was shut down in Wyoming and he, was at like a Petro or a TA eating at the diner, right? And he told me that one time there was a, like he was sitting there eating and he overheard a story. And I'm only bringing this up because we talked about Wyoming and the winds. 
this is going to be a really short story. Basically, he he heard this guy talking to a young lady. And the young lady was worried because it's really windy in Wyoming and she was new to driving and everything like that. So this guy, I guess, told her that if she were to come back to his truck, he could teach her about how to sail along the wind in Wyoming. So if sailing the wind in Wyoming is something that you've heard of or something that you have done, comment down below in the comments. Let me know if that's a real thing because me and Jake, we don't think it's a real thing. If the weather's bad, shut down. That's one piece of advice that Jake always gives is if the weather's bad, if there's rain, any of that stuff, shut down, get a nap. It'll be better when you wake up. <clears throat> and here's what I'm going to have to go to my notes for. Don't be surprised if you see those Waymo trucks from the clip earlier. Don't be surprised if you don't start seeing those trucks pulling JB Hunt trailers. Because in June, on June 10th, 2021, JB Hunt and Waymo came to an agreement. I guess there's a certain account on for JB Hunt. I don't know which account it is, but it runs from Houston to Fort Worth, which is 240 something miles. So they're going to be running that lane on level four robot mode, whatever that means. So this stuff is coming. Everybody knows it's coming. A lot of people think it's decades away, which I hope because that would mean I would be in this thing long enough to retire and get out of it before that becomes a big deal. So yeah, I kind of want this to not happen for a while. But this has been going on for a while, guys, since March of 2020. These they're not the only company. You can go look up these companies, do your research. You should invest in them if you want to. I don't know if you think this is the future of trucking, now would be a good time to get in. Because Right now, seems like they're in the data collecting because this isn't taking jobs right now. Like, I've seen that Waymo truck and I've seen a couple of them. Like I said, I run Dallas, Houston, Fort Worth, all that area. And I see these trucks and they always have two people in them. They have a driver and an engineer. So if you're running down here in Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California, you're gonna see them too. Don't be surprised. They've got all the cameras, all the bells and whistles. It's part of the future, man. That being said, that's gonna. this video is going to be really short. It's just a little informative video, kind of seeing how you guys dig this stuff. Seeing that truck out there, decide to do a tiny bit of research. You can go look up Waymo Via. You can look up autonomous trucks, all this stuff. Get your own information. Do I think that autonomous trucks are coming? Yes. Do I think it's anytime soon? No. Uh, one thing in researching this I've seen that was a super good point is if, a, is if a, one of these trucks breaks down, and they're able to get to the side of the road, how do they put the warning flares out? You know what I mean? It's just little things like that. Are they going to shoot them out of the back? Little things like that are problems that they have to deal with. Weather shutdowns. Wind shutdowns. I mean, winter's coming. How do these trucks deal with that stuff? And a lot smarter people than us are out here trying to figure it out, and I'm sure they will get it figured out. I just, I don't think we're close decades maybe if you think i'm wrong though get down there in the comments let me know how wrong i am let me know what you think let me know what you think about all this what do you think about waymo what do you think about my video what do you think about autonomous trucking are they coming to take our jobs are we gonna be out of business soon you let me know it's just one man's opinion but check out the instagram it's down in the description billy rains yt like the video, subscribe if you like little informative videos of my own little spin on them. Maybe me do a little bit of research into these videos. Let me know. I don't mind it. I can do even better than this. So like, subscribe, hit that little bell so you know when the videos come out. That's going to about do it, guys and gals. Appreciate y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.